One of six reactors at the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant in the southeast of the country was automatically disconnected by the plant's internal defense mechanism yesterday. This was the second halt in operations in recent weeks at the plant in Ukraine's southeast, which covers at least one-fifth of country power needs. We remember radiation levels began to rise in the Zaporizhia region last Friday. Seems Ukrainian government just hides how serious the problem on the nuclear plant now. Silence of Ukrainian media is the argument for that idea. A real transport war has broken out on the roads to Crimea. Ukrainian drivers are damaging buses that are carrying people through checkpoints from Ukraine to Crimea. Ukrainian taxi drivers are slashing the tires of Crimean vehicles in Novoalexeyevka. They are fighting for business, Transport Minister of Crimea Anatoly Tsurkin said. The minister explained that the Transport Minister of Crimea organized alternative transport options for railway passengers planning to cross the Russian-Ukrainian border in the north of the Republic. The passengers have to disembark from the trains because the Ukrainian Ukrainian officials stop rail connections with Crimea. The outgoing year has proved to be the moment of truth in relations between Russia and the European Union, Russian ambassador to the European Union Vladimir Chizhov said on Friday. Problems have been heaping up for quite some time from long before the state cup in Kiev, he said. In the long run, the European Union has chosen the so-called zone of common neighborhood as a target of its influence. This was how the Eastern Partnership was born. It was that the seeds of difference were sown and these seeds have been growing ever since, Chizhov added. An aide to the German Chancellor has become the victim of a cyber attack, according to Bild. The highly sophisticated region virus that was found on her infected USB stick is reported to be a product of British and US spy agencies. Later, the German government has denied reports a laptop belonging to a top Merkel aide was infected with the highly sophisticated region virus, malware believed to be a product of British and US spy agencies. Later, the German government has denied reports about cyber attack on German Chancellor, but after the series of recent spy scandals, no one longer believes in the German government's desire to protect themselves from the foreign surveillance. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.